Hi everyone, I'm Lauren, I have ADHD, and this I know what I'm doing. This is the channel where I indulge my urge to start new projects with little to no prior knowledge and the faith that I'll figure it out as I go. I'm not always safe, please don't do as I do. Today is the grand finale of my adventure with Verna, the 1946 Singer 6618. I've restored her cabinet, I've restored her to working order, let's see how we've done. The first order of business is to get her back into the cabinet, which means I need to tighten these pin screws down very good because when she's at rest inside the cabinet, these are the only things supporting her. Um, when she's up, obviously she has that lip of the cabinet there to hold her up. I'm hooking the pedal onto its little uh, hook rest on the inside of the machine. I thought that was for using it as a knee pedal, but I'm a little confused and it might just be for storage when it's not in use. And then I just need to drop the power cord through, and ta-da! She fits, she sits. I'm plugging this into a power strip so I have an easy on and off option in case things go terribly wrong. And now we just say a little prayer to literally anyone who's listening, and... Well, I knew the light probably wasn't going to work because it still has the dead light bulb in there, but maybe the pedal? No, nothing. Okay, let's take a look at the underside of this motor again and see what's going on there, because maybe something got jarred loose. I'm not sure, so I'm just gonna redo all of these connections just to make sure everything's touching where it should be touching and not touching where it shouldn't be touching. And despite having clipped these shorter earlier, I'm going to strip off a little bit more of the wire coating to get a little bit longer lead to get a better twist. Maybe, hopefully, we'll see. And of course I spent way too long wrestling with these connector thingies, and I've cut most of that out for you, so please be grateful. Okay, I finally got everything sitting together, not falling apart, fits in the base of the motor. Time to put the motor back onto the machine, which for some reason I decided to do the wheel first, even though I know that was a problem before, but somehow I made it work this time.
All right, now we're going to plug it back in. Once again, say a prayer to whatever is listening. And, oh my goodness, that is running on its own. Okay, I think that's something in the foot pedal. There's a smell of uh, motor grease, which is probably just the old motor grease working its way through, but I'm going to take the foot pedal apart and get this figured out and try again. Okay, yeah, foot pedal wires had come undone, so fix that. And let's try this again. One more prayer. It works! It's alive! Next to wind a bobbin. The threading on this is not as intuitive as in a modern machine, so I did have to reference the manual to figure out exactly how to do this, but here we go! And something there is still incorrect because the needle should be disengaged at this point, but it might just be that I didn't turn the wheel on the wheel far enough. For threading the machine for regular sewing, I again had to reference the manual. My modern machine has these nice convenient arrows pointing go here, go here, go there. This one, of course, does not, so had to make sure I was following the path correctly. And would you look at that, she sews like a dream. I barely even had to adjust the tension to get a perfect even stitch. I love you, Verna. This brings us to the end of this video and the end of this project. I am so grateful to everyone who's joined me on this journey with Berna. Uh, she is an amazing machine. I love her dearly, even with her imperfections. Next, I think I'm going to be uh, sewing a new cover for a camp chair to make it more LARP appropriate, so look forward to that. I may be taking a brief hiatus just to make sure I have enough content for you to keep this channel going while also handling a household and a toddler. I need to think of something to do for 100 subscribers, so shoot me ideas for that too. I'd also like to do a Q&A video maybe for this project, so if you have specific questions regarding this project that you haven't asked yet, please do so, and if I get enough questions, I'll put that video together. As always, I love you, and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.